How are we? Well, hi, Good, we love you. your, your background. Ah, thank you. And I love you guys and therefore thank also you. your background <laughs> part of you. Um, now, first of all, uh, Constance, it is so nice. And by nice, I mean like really sad to get to see more of uh, Camila's uh, background history right. and pain right. that she's carrying. Right. Can you talk about how that opened up the character for you and how you approached her this season? Um, I was just so happy to see what made Camilla tick because season one, there was not much backstory and um, a lot of her behavior as a mom, how I am, I would be like, she's kind of harsh and oh, why would I say that? But I had compassion for her just because I know what it's like to have to be a single mom and deal with, you know, holding two daughters together and a family together. And um, but season two, I was just like, yes. Thank you. I mean, as an actor, it was very hard to play a lot of the suffering and a lot of the um, questionable choices that she made that had crazy impact on her life and her children's life and her marriage life. But I was, it was so rewarding to finally get to flush that out so people could see who she was. And ultimately, I had so much more compassion for her um, because of what she had gone through and what she had survived. Absolutely. Now, Angelique, Becca gets to be a little bit more in the driver's seat this season, mm -hmm. but Alma does not stop being a backseat driver. Uh, <laughs> what is <laughs> this back and forth between the sisters like? How does she feel about Alma maybe trying to steer her a certain way? I mean, I think Becca... I think Becca and Alma's relationship is very complex. Mm. We see it change from season one to season two. I think that... Um, She's annoyed a little bit at the beginning, but then I think that well, by Alma's like pushing and encouragement, it really helps Becca lean into her power, honestly, and like discover who she is and kind of um, not care so much about being perfect and what she should or shouldn't do or the good and bad and just almost being a little bit of a rebel, which I think is so breathtaking to see in, in Becca. And I also just think that she's like a badass. And I think that you kind of see that fun side come out with Alma's help and they're ultimately best friends, right? And we see them bicker like best friends, but also really support and hold each other up. And Rose and I have such a great relationship on and off screen. So it's just a pleasure. And it's one of the greatest joys of my acting career. And can, oh, I, I, also, can I also say that as um, their TV mother, <laughs> um, I am so proud mm -hmm. that raising two independent, radically different, mm. but independent women who are willing to fight for their version of reality yeah. and, and champion that mm. makes me even awesome. more proud of Camilla. Oh. <laughs> I know it's true. <laughs> That's right. Camilla did her job. Oh, right. I love that. Right, she did. did a good job. <laughs> well, did she, even by maybe just representing that, maybe I didn't give the best, my character didn't give the best right. lessons, but she was like, oh, we know how to survive. Mom survived. So we'll survive. Yeah, I love that. And then just quick side note, I want to say, I love that you guys got to speak so much Spanish this season. Yeah, oh, I, I love that. Yeah, you know, I was like, I see that. I see that. All right. Thank That's you, guys. Important. Thank you so yes. much. Yes. Have a great day.